On the 3rd of August 1973, His Divine Grace Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, founder Acharya of the International Society for Krishna Consciousness and author of the Bhagavad Gita as it is, the multi-volume edition of Srimad Bhagavatam and Chaitanya Charitamrita in English. He wrote a letter to Rameshwara Prabhu, who is one of the most prominent generals in his army for conquering over Maya by distributing these books. It's a martial analogy. Srila Prabhupada used many martial analogies that we're fighting with Maya. So Srila Prabhupada in this letter, which I'm going to read part of, he was replying to a letter from Rameshwara Prabhu describing about the profuse book distribution that had been taking place in America in the last few uh, days and weeks. So Srila Prabhupada wrote, My dear Rameshwara, please accept my blessings. Whew, that's one. Blessed by Prabhupada. I am in receipt of your letter dated July the 29th, 1973, and I have noted the contents with great pleasure. pleasure of Srila Prabhupada, the perfection of life. How do they do it? By distributing so many books. Then, to continue reading this letter, there is no doubt about it, to distribute books is our most important activity. The temple is a place not for eating and sleeping, but as a base from which we send out our soldiers to fight with Maya. Fight with Maya means to drop thousands and millions of books into the lap of the conditioned souls, just like during wartime the bombs are raining from the sky like anything. So there we have it, the founder of the Hare Krishna movement in the Western world, the International Society for Krishna Consciousness, told his disciples to go out and drop bombs. Yeah, what are those bombs? It's metaphorical not real bombs, this Krishna conscious movement is not in the activity of manufacturing the kinds of bombs that explode and kill people, but these books are compared to bombs because they're so powerful, they blow to pieces all the misconceptions by which we are stuck in this material world. They just, just like bombs, they destroy so these books, they destroy our ignorance of our existential position. The, the bombs they, that are manufactured by scientists and technologists, they cause havoc. So these books, they, they can create havoc in society in the sense that the whole society is dedicated to hedonism, so these books bring people to the path of regulated spiritual life, of thoughtfulness, of godliness. So in, in one sense they cause havoc, they destroy Maya, but although dropping bombs causes so much pain, agony, destruction and death, these are spiritual bombs, so they have the opposite effect, even though they are immensely powerful, but they are immensely powerful in a very positive way. The most devastating bombs that have been dropped in this world were dropped as long ago as 1945, I believe it was, the atom bombs that were dropped in Hiroshima and Nagasaki which caused great devastation, tremendous suffering, uh, but compared to the bombs that are or have or have been produced in the meantime, bombs and missiles, they're like little toys. <laughs> uh, so in the same way, we were distributing so many books in the early 1970s. This Krishna Conscious Movement in America is profuse book distribution, but it's mostly one by one. We give one book to a person or two books to a person. 
In the meantime, the scientists, their technology has gone on, has progressed, you can call it, so that they're producing big bombs, which can cause big destruction. Similarly, the bombs that we were using, one by one, to fight Maya, well, Maya has also progressed. If we look at the situation in the world in the 1970s, it was bad. But if we look at it now, it's much, much worse. So, just like little bombs were sufficient in the past, but now bigger bombs are required because America is making bigger bombs, and Russia has to make bigger bombs, and China has to make bigger bombs. You have to keep on making your bombs bigger and bigger. So now that Maya is becoming more and more destructive in her influence, now we need to distribute big bombs, big books. What does that mean? We print the Bhagavad Gita in this size? No but we can have big bombs in the sense that distribute sets of Srimad Bhagavatam. Srila Prabhupada wanted a set of Srimad Bhagavatam in every, the house of every gentleman in America. It means every more educated person, uh, you could say middle class person, thoughtful, intellectual. Now is the time. Maya is making progress. Now is the time more than ever when we should distribute these sets of Srimad Bhagavatam. As the influence of Maya increases and people are feeling suffering more and more and more, the possibility for distributing these books is increasing more and more and more. Already some devotees are having great success with distributing what they call Saptarshi, Saptarishi set, seven big books all in one set to people on the street, and they find people also who, they find there's a spark of interest when they show the books, and to such people, they sell them Srimad Bhagavatam sets on the spot. So, let us now, the Krishna Consciousness Movement, drop big bombs. We'll make a declaration of war against Maya. We can send a letter to all the big leaders of the world that we would now we're going to send a bomb in your house we're going to send you a set of Srimad Bhagavad they see that they're like, terrorism no this is not terrorism this is the antidote to terrorism and ecological disturbance and social disturbance and all the political turmoil this is the solution Take these books of Srila Prabhupada, take a whole set. Why only Srimad Bhagavatam? Give Bhagavatam, Gita, Chaitanya Charitamrita, Nectar of Devotion, Signs of Self-Realization, Nectar of Instruction, all the small books. Give them, give them a big set. And then tell them, okay, now you read. You sit down, read these books. Now you'll find something which you never found before. There are so many think tanks, so many people out on the internet and journalists giving their opinions how to solve the problems. They're all failing. Society is getting worse and worse and worse. Now we need the big bomb of spiritual knowledge. Give the set of Srimad Bhagavatam. Krishna Swadhamo Bhagate Dharma Jnana Divisaha Kalo Nashta Drusham Esha Purana Kaudunod Krishna, the very figure of religiosity, knowledge, goodness, and all good qualities, departed at the end of Dwarpa Yuga. In Kali Yuga, darkness has set in, but this Srimad Bhagavatam is like the blazing sun which gives light in the darkness of Kali Yuga. Get these books out. Get, the, get big bombs out. Within our own movement, we're finding so much, so much uh, influence of divisiveness, the effect of Kali Yuga. A solution. Everyone get distributed Bhagavatams. If you can't do Bhagavatams, do little books. If you can't, or do smaller books. But if, why not try for it? 
Hunt the rhino, Srila Prabhupada. You just try and shoot the rhino. Let's see if we can get Bhagavatams out. We should aim. How many sets are we going to do? How many sets are we going to do this year? Thousands and thousands and thousands of sets of Bhagavatam should be distributed all over the world. This will change the world. This is what the world needs. Drop the bombs, big bombs. Drop them here, there, everywhere. Let the world take this knowledge of Krishna consciousness as given by Ved Vyas, as given by Shukdev, as given by Srila Prabhupada. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, 